Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. We are bringing you an edition of American Hardwood Advisor, not from Studio 3B, but from Project Tyanesta with our partners, Renovation Hunters, on the Outdoor Channel. And uh, what a great morning we're experiencing out here. I have a real special guest, uh, had the opportunity to meet him, oh, probably five months ago out in Hyannis, Nebraska at Project Hyannis. Richard. Good to be here. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, it's, these have just gotten more fun and more fun. Right. Uh, as we go along, yeah, everybody, it's really become like family for sure. We so. do we do this a couple of years and we'll have checked off every state in the United States. I think States, so, right? yeah. It's It's been fantastic for sure, just getting to see towns in the country you would typically never see. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Little little Tyanesta, yeah, Oil City, Franklin, absolutely, they're all around. Yeah, uh, like just driving out here. What I forget the name of the little town that uh, uh, Cougar Bob's is at, the little little establishment we went yeah. to the other night. Yeah. You know, ten miles away, it's another little town, Berg. People are so nice. No, for right? sure. Yeah, we were. I mean, we were out here yesterday. I'm not sure if you were here at the time, but the thunderstorms were rolling in, and one of the neighbors came running out of the house and was like. I just want to tell you guys, it's a severe thunderstorm morning until 2.30 and it's like, you know, I'm from Atlanta and I like live in Atlanta because of my function where wall controls at. I think my neighbors would just be like, look at that idiot out there, it's about to storm. Don't you know it's going to storm? But They're yeah. not going out the door yeah, to warn exactly. you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. So <laughs> right? it's, it's more of a, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's awesome getting to meet the people and, you know, just salt to the earth, give you the shirt off their back kind of thing. Right. And, and what a team they've put together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's great to see after after three projects, yeah. everybody really gelling, for coming sure. together. Uh, this little project seems like everybody's brought their A game. For sure, right? Yeah. And we're on day five. I mean, that's just exhausting marathon. I can't. I mean, from 6:30 in the morning yesterday until 8:30, just. Yeah. I mean, aside from a lunch, that was it. That was you know that was before dinner. So. Yeah, that was uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I went I went uh, on that stretch and and. Uh, they, they've allowed me to be included on some of the install stuff. Yeah. And after after day one, I went from two t-shirts to three t-shirts yeah, exactly. because you're sweating through stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, I, have, all, I have, like, have my suitcase in the car at all times because I'm <laughs> right. constantly shaking. That's like with this, before we sat down, I was like, I'm glad it was after lunch and everything could dry up a little right. bit before we, yeah. And but, you got this is the best spot I've been in the whole time here, so <laughs> very nice. Yeah, the guys did a great job picking this one out. Yeah. But you know the thing about it, and you, like everybody else on this property right now, there is no task that you won't jump in on and help. Yeah, I'm here to help. I'm free labor is what I say. It'll just grab me off the sidelines and give me a paintbrush or a saw and point me in the direction. So yeah. So, so on site, and we're not going to give anything away, mm -hmm. but you have in a couple locations your product represented. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, one of them. One of them being, and I got to, I got to tell the folks about the job you guys did in that tool van. Yeah. Oh yeah. That the Kevin totes around, right? Absolutely. That's that. That's fantastic. And the project that you did here. Every every campsite needs one. Yeah. Right. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> so we, the folks we will think see so. it. The folks yeah. will see it. Right? Exactly. So take us down the wall control product. Gotcha. The, the products. I mean, you yeah. have a family of products. Yeah. So and speaking of, so we're a family business. Um, we originally, not wall control, but we started in tool and die in the 60s. Actually, my grandfather started the uh, DeKalb tool and die is the name of the company. And we've been in metal stamping and tool and die ever since then. And then in the early 2000s, we saw a lot of stuff going offshore or going to Mexico because we, we run other people's parts. And so um, the offshoring became popular, especially in the automotive industry. So we had made prototypes of wall control that we had in our shop for our own use. Right. And we were like, all right, you know, we could get a call tomorrow and half of our business could get put on a flatbed and head to Mexico. So we need something that's never going to leave our shop. And so we were like, let's take this. This works really well for us. We're going to tweak it a little bit, make it modular, you know, make it so 
you know, the everyday homeowner can install it really easily. And so we tooled it up, we patented it, we created a brand around it. And that was 2000, I think 2002 or 2003 is when we, you know, officially, you know, became Wall Control Inc. and got our patents and all that stuff. Um, and then since then, you know, I came on, it was my, my dad and my granddad and, you know, bless their hearts, they're tool and die makers, they're not marketers, they're not, you know, the, the online game was changing right. at the time and that wasn't their thing. So, you know, they were writing like handwritten notes, like, dear Home Depot buyer, you know, it's like, oh, I, I have, I have some left over, you know, some in my desk, but, um, I came on in my, my background's in mechanical engineering. I worked for the department of defense, uh, out of school. And then I left that in 2008 to come work at the tool and die shop. And, um, I was, ba I, I was like, I'll, I'm going to do wall control and wall control wasn't there were no employees or anything. Right. So I'm doing half wall control, half tool and die. And we had a little 3000 square foot warehouse connected to our shop um, and one person in there. And so just started trying to, you know, make the website better, learn all I could about SEO, learn all I could about, you know, digital marketing and pay-per-click and all that stuff. And just started trying to grow that. Mm -hmm. And then quickly that became my full-time job. And, you know, sent from then to now, this is where we're at now. So yeah. that's, that's the story. <clears throat> and, that, and that's a great story. So uh, for a number of years, you were with the defense, mm -hmm. and and then you came back home. Yeah, uh huh. Right? Absolutely, yeah, for and, sure. And so, you too, like Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, you're a third generation company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that that that's cool, and and you've taken it, and you, uh, more than myself, are of the of the generation of device friendly right exactly right? it's just it's where people's attention is so right. it's like that's where you want to be you know wherever that is and you know to the point of you know you get into strategy and all that but to the point of like renovation hunters it's a great fit for wall control because it's like if you like the outdoors and you know you like renovation shows then you are a perfect i mean that's, that couldn't be a better wall control potential customer so um it's really nice to know you're in front of an audience that's receptive to your product. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an analogy <clears throat> at, at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood Studio 3B in the workshop. Can I just say it's a really nice, your podcast <laughs> setup is amazing. This is, this is nice, but y'all did a good job with that. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. And uh, one, of the, one of the projects that, that we've done on, on our Build It With Baird uh, segment is uh, another storage rack system. Mm -hmm old school yeah from across the pond old school yeah it's referred to as a french cleat yep, product, very familiar right? yeah okay mm -hmm. and old and new mm -hmm. and there's room in shops for, for both, sure right? yeah we've seen people take our panel because it's 16 by 32 and mount it to like a french to the cleat yeah and then you can move it on your french cleat system move it so around. yeah because i mean french cleats are awesome but you have gaps right. that big right. and you can't really micromanage And then you that utilize space. that entire space. Yeah, so you got a panel, you can make, you can, every half an inch you can put, you know, it's a much tighter grid you can, you can organize. So we've seen people do that and use it in conjunction on it. So yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, we got to get you to Canfield, Ohio. Yeah. I got, I, I got I some wall to. space in the, stu in the studio yeah, workshop. Yeah, let's check you know? it out and do something cool. Right, yeah. yeah. We could put y'all's logo on it and yeah, for sure. <clears throat> like you did on the, on the, the trailer assembly inside Absolutely. there. Yeah, that's a new thing we do now, which is, really start to take off. So, yeah. I'm going to ask you, we met about five months ago out in Hyannis mm -hmm. and uh, then we jumped to Kreitz and now we find ourselves in Western Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Favorite project? Ooh, that's really, that's a hard one because they're all different. You know, they all got their own flavor kind of thing. I'm going to say, I think it might be this one actually. I don't know if it's just because everybody, like we all know each other now. So you all that you go, you know, you don't have to do that the first couple of days getting to know everybody. So it's kind of like a reunion when you show up. Um, there, for wall control specifically, it's been cool because we've done, and again, not giving anything away, but we've done a lot of different types of applications. So it's like uses for our products that are not the. It was, you know, when it was when it was born, it was born for a garage and you know, common household hand tools for sheds, for you know, lawn equipment, that kind of thing. And until, you know, until now, we had not done anything similar to that. So we have some cool stuff that's kind of come out after the show comes out. But um, it's nice to go back to, like, I guess, the roots of the, the original 
purpose of the wall control in the marketplace. That's that's true, and and I'm sitting here thinking back, and I I can envision the project you did in Highness, mm -hmm. and the project here. But I go back to, and I will reference it as the wash station that yeah. you did in Kreitz. Yeah, that was killer. That is cool. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what that's cool. For I love the wall control setup, but I love how they've taken elements of it for this build too you know so yeah. it's just oh, yeah. cool how they yeah it's like a whole i mean there's a bunch of levels that renovation hunters i think is gonna be an impressive show to watch i mean there's the you know the feel good reasons doing something for the family but like you're literally watching like product lines develop on the show too because like the way they've you know not to get into specifics but the way that's evolved from this from the previous you know uh virginia to now it's like you know, tailoring it exactly to the family. Spot on. Uh, much like Studio 3B in our workshop was born, uh, we, we set out with the intent to be informational, educational, and introduce product. Mm -hmm. And Renovation Hunters is doing the same thing yep. through wall control and all yeah. of the other folks yeah. involved. And you can be sitting there watching this, this show and all of a sudden, oh, I need one of those. Yeah. That uh -huh. is cool. You yeah. know. As, as also, the, the versatility of you guys' product offering. You know, like, I've been watching, like, oh, that's awesome. That's, you know, it's everything, every single build is different. You know, like, like oh, markedly different. Yeah, completely. totally. Yeah, so that's going to, I mean, kudos to, you know, Kevin and Hal for picking the spots they did and making it to where it's got something for everybody. My friend, we have three behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, Hal Schaefer's already talking about 2023. Yeah, we're <laughs> and, in, man. Yeah, <laughs> right? let's do it again. <laughs> so it's been a blast. It's been our pleasure meeting you. Absolutely. Pleasure is and mine. And getting so. to know you over the last five, six months. Folks, another great partner of Renovation Hunters. Follow Richard, mm -hmm. right? Wall Control on the Instagram side of things. Yep. So, yeah, Wall Control. I'm Mr. Wall Storage. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's how you can follow right? along. Yeah. Baird Brothers, across the board on the socials, guys. Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine yards. We got more great guests like this coming up. Stay tuned. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time, 